Hi class, welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this video, what we're gonna do is take a look at implicit differentiation. And specifically, I'm gonna start with this tangent equation. Tangent of theta equals x over 50. And our instructions are to find d theta dx. And really, it's important to understand what this notation is asking us to find. It literally says you're gonna find the derivative of theta, but with respect to x. And so that's gonna be important as we look at this particular equation that has both thetas and x's in it. So as I take this particular equation and try to find its derivative implicitly, what I'm gonna start with is I'm just gonna take the derivative of the left side. So we're gonna start with saying d dx for our notation, d dx of tan theta. I'll come back in a minute and actually figure out what that is. And remember, whatever I do to one side of the equation, well, we've gotta do it to the other side of the equation. So if I'm gonna take the derivative with respect to x of this piece, then I should do it to the other side as well. So d dx of our x over 50, okay? All right, so I just wanted to write this notation just to kind of showcase that in essence, what we're doing is we're taking the derivative of the left side of the equation with respect to x, and we're gonna take the derivative of the right side of the equation with respect to x. The good news is that side contains an x. The maybe not so great thing is the left side doesn't contain an x. Okay, but we can handle it. So we gotta just think to ourselves, all right, derivative of tan theta, so tangent theta. If you can recall what the derivative is, it is one of those facts in terms of derivative of what it just is. There's a couple of ways to write it. Here's one of them. One of the ways to write tan theta's derivative is secant squared theta. So we can write this derivative, actually take the derivative and say this is secant squared theta. However, since we took the derivative of theta, but with respect to something different than theta, like an x, we have to continue with our notation here of, in this case now, d theta dx. And again, what this says is, I've taken the derivative of an expression involving theta, but I've done so with respect to x. So now I have the derivative of tan theta, secant squared theta, tracking my notation, d theta dx. And now on the right side, this will be equal to, now we're ready to take the derivative of x over 50. And again, the good news is this term contains just an x and we are also taking the derivative with respect to x. Therefore, I do not need, once I take my derivative, I do not need my special notation to track the ratio for that derivative. So, one little thing here, just a little note. X over 50 can be thought about in this way, simply just one over 50 X. If you imagine X over 50 is one over 50 X, then finding the derivative of that piece is not so bad. All we need to do is say, oh, the derivative of one over 50 X is essentially just one over 50 per our derivative rules. So once I get to this stage, I think, well, gosh, I really wanted to find d theta dx. I have not explicitly solved for d theta dx, so I have one more step to do, and that would be to divide both sides by secant squared theta. So once we do that, we would have secant squared theta here. Of course, I have a one over 50 on the right side. I'm gonna divide that by secant squared theta. My secant squared theta is on the left side, divide out. What now is left is simply d theta dx, and that will be equal to, if I wanted to kind of simplify this a little bit, um, I could just simply say that this is one divided by 50 secant squared theta. Or if you really want it, you could just leave it as one over 50 divided by secant squared theta. And this is our final result. And we know we're done when we were asked to find d theta dx. And well, we have solved our equation for d theta dx. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. In our next video, we will explore more about implicit differentiation. Please click on our Advantage logo to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.